Well, that's Lady a very Macbeth good no question. Joke. Lady Macbeth is no joke. You it's are right. No joke. It is a role debut, and it's um, a role that's kind of eluded me for a while because of the pandemic. How do you find her? How do you? How do you? Low. But not Very but okay. Well, that's vocally. But <laughs> but when you have to go with a character that's this dark, that's this evil, where do you where do you like pull that from? The, the ego and power driven. The and thirst for and the drive for power. Yeah. It, or fame or riches, um, that really backfires. Yeah. Because what's that phrase? Be careful what you wish for. Oh yeah, my agent says it all the time. <laughs> careful what you wish for and that's something that's yeah, yeah. It, because fame power money riches yeah. notoriety all come with there's a price tag a bag you know yeah. all these things that that follow it right yeah. behind it oh, yeah. and i think that that for me is lady Macbeth. yeah and i think that thirst for power mm -hmm. comes from a great loss in her yeah. life yeah and I have to fill this space. I have to do something with this. Right, yeah. because in the play, not in the opera, but she loses a child. Right. And I think she has to fill that void. Yeah. She tries to fill that void uh -huh. with, with her thirst for it. And I don't think it's necessarily the Macbeth's thirst for it. But she... She's the puppet convinces master Convinces him, yes. Yeah. And this, for me, was really different. Lady Macbeth is vocally a step now into the more, what I call the angry women, the, yeah. the women that, who really have this yeah. mm, dramatic tension. Yeah. And Tosca is kind of in the same vein, but this role's very low. Yeah, right, right, right. And she's really three different women in a way, yep. because you have the first aria, which is almost Violetta. Right. The second aria, which is like Eboli. And then the third aria, which is, I don't know, kind of a little it's bit of super, trouble. Super, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> with ending on a high D flat. Thank you, Mr. Rarity. Yeah. That pianissimo. Thank you, Mr. Rarity. Why do you think you're here? Because <laughs> nobody else there's wanted only, to do it. <laughs> there's only three ladies who can do this. <laughs> Everybody else like, I won't touch them. <laughs> Let us know how it goes. But it's exciting. It's yeah. thrilling. And in some ways, I'm really, really happy that the other ones didn't happen because now I get to do my first Macbeth with David with David Norger uh, gotcha. yep. here at the Lyric yep. which is such an important yep. opera and with house Maestro Mazzola who, who yes. shows you the score from, be, from, from first beat to the last beat he okay. shows you everything you don't need to memorize the score he's showing it to you yep. and it's really something and he knows what Verity wanted yeah. so there you go oh, people yeah. come yeah. come see the show oh, right? come see the show